Loudy, loudy, you guys. I got so much mail today. It's ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to quickly list off people's names. There's Elizabeth. There is Charity. Ting. Sandeep. This one from Allison. Oh, <laughs> they're all hiding at the bottom now. There is this one from no one. It's from Charlottetown, but there's no name on the front. This, <laughs> this is in mail. This is a stain remover thing I just bought. I thought there was like one more thing. Maybe not. Maybe that was all of them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was all six. Okay, cool. So I got six things. It's like a record. And the male lady's like, oh, long time no see. Or she didn't say that specifically, but she said something like, oh, you're finally back. And I'm like, please, I come every week. <laughs> but I just haven't seen her specifically in a while. So yeah, they pretty much know who I am. And they're like, oh, you're coming to get all your crap. Even though it's not really that much, but still six things in one week. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I bought this OxyClean Max Force gel stick. I was just at Shoppers Drug Mart because that's where I go to pick up my P.O. Box mail. And I was just looking to see what kind of stain removal stuff they had. Um, I was also looking for a bleach stick, but I didn't find anything like that. So I, I found this though. It says it gets out grass and blood, soil and clay, food stains, grease and oil. Uh, so hopefully this works. I'm going to put on my shirt tonight, but I can't really wash it until the weekend when we do laundry. So yeah. And... My plan is just quickly edit yesterday's vlog and then I gotta go up the hill to the other post office and pick up my button order from Six Cent Press because it arrived. So I'm gonna open it up. And I still have a word to say about that. How, you know, my, <laughs> I can't even speak, I'm so flustered. You know how I mentioned that they increased their prices on their button parts? Well, it kind of makes me angry for one reason. The name of their company is Six Cent Press because the cheapest button parts you could get were for six cents. If you bought the smallest buttons at the largest quantity, it was six cents per button. That's why they're called Six Cent Press. But now their cheapest buttons are like nine or ten cents or something. So it's like, now your name is irrelevant. <laughs> so, kind of sad. This box is so heavy. <laughs> Okay, I need to sit down for a sec. This box is so heavy, it's ridiculous. It's not even that big, but it's so heavy. It's full of metal, basically. Okay, so there was such a huge long, such a huge long line at the post office. It was ridiculous, it took forever. I mean, the lineup wasn't even that long. There are just so many people who didn't do things properly and like, it took forever. So I finally got there, but the people in front of me, oh my God, okay. They received a package roughly the size of mine. It was just a little bit longer, but narrower one way. And the post office lady said it was gonna cost $160 in duty charges, like duties and taxes from crossing the border. And I was like, what? And the people in front of me were just as shocked. They're like, uh, we're not gonna pay $160 for this package. Cause you've already paid for shipping and then that much on top of it. And I'm not sure what it was. The post, I thought I heard the postal lady say, that's an expensive pair of shoes or something like that. I don't know if it said it came from some shoe store, but um, it was just ridiculous. So they're like, well, no, we have to just refuse the package then. I didn't even know you can get charged that much in taxes when things cross the border. Because normally it's proportional to how much your item cost. So I don't know if they just had something really expensive that then incurred a lot of import charges, but yeah, because the most, ex I've only ever had to pay duty, I think, a couple times. One time it was like 20 bucks, another time it was, I think, 30 or 30 something. And that was when I ordered a big Copic case and some Copic, so it was kind of expensive and it was over the threshold. I think you can order like up to $200 worth of stuff duty free. I'm not sure how it works, but that's the only time I've ever had to pay duty and taxes on things. Anyways, I should probably get going, carry this the rest of the way home. There's a big park here by the way. So pretty. Everyone's looking at me really weird. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back. I'm live streaming with Brooklyn while doing this. I have the live stream up and running. My arms are hurting so bad I'm like can't draw. That box killed me and I'm hoping 
it doesn't hurt tomorrow because usually if I carry something heavy you feel it the next day so I'm hoping I wasn't actually carrying it long enough for it to have a lasting effect so hopefully I'm okay by tomorrow but yeah this is gonna be the rest of my night the rest of the vlog more animation drawing things and I haven't even eaten anything because I got back from getting the buttons and then I got the vlog uploading and then I was like crap gotta start the stream now so I haven't even like had a chance to eat anything since lunchtime. I don't even know if the vlog is up. It says processing. Okay, now it's done. Woohoo! I accidentally left the upload window, and so I was like, did it finish uploading or did it not? I do not know. It looks like it did, so that's good. I see you there. <laughs> don't be all stuffy. <laughs> don't work. I just want to kill my guy. <laughs> just the other day, I had to double check again with Christian. I was like, are you sure you're okay with being filmed? Because you come off as awkward a lot of the time or just silent. And he's like, no, no, like, I don't mind it. I just don't always know what to say. So I'm like, oh, okay. So he is okay with it. He just, he, he's not good with talking to the camera. I see you there. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I just stick my head up like, mm. normally I can spy between the monitors, but I have them pulled together right now. So I have to like, Stretch. It's like a wall between us. A barrier. Oh no. oh no. See him. Remember all the stuff we were talking about him today? Like how that time he fell out of the boat, the time he fell out of the envoy when mom was driving. Really? I want to play my game. And I kept thinking about dogs. I kept thinking about all the times they escaped before we had a fence. And then we heard the ti someone's tire screeching like they slammed on the brakes. And I that had to have been from Maddie and Ben because... It was like one street over. We hear someone's tire squealing and I'm like, oh my god, they're running over my dog. But they were okay. They are alive. Oh, baby, he's so cute. Ben, don't look at pee pee on camera. No. Wh whistle at him. <laughs> baby, don't do that. Oh, he's a gross puppy. But he's so cute. <laughs> a parent, Brooklyn was texting me at work today saying that some peace officer came to our door and was like, did you lose your Scotty? Because... Bef when we first moved there, before we had a fence, the dogs would escape all the time because we had this plastic orange fence and they would either crawl underneath it because they would dig in the sand or they would chew through the fence. And so they were constantly escaping and we were like getting into trouble with the peace officers who were like, okay, if they escape one more time, we're charging you. <laughs> so I get, I mean, they haven't escaped in a long time, but I guess they have it on file that we have a Scotty. And so they found a Scotty in the area and we're like, oh, is this your Scotty? But it wasn't, and so then Brooklyn was telling me this, and I was sad. We're like, oh, I hope that Scotty finds its way home. And I was, I told Brooklyn she should have claimed it, and then we would have two Scotties. <laughs> and then you can send it to me. <laughs> They'll never know what happened to their Scotty. No, I can never take it from its owners. Christian came to say goodnight to the stream. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Here, let's do a like. Dropping the camera. Let's do a little view on the chat. If anyone wants to say hi to YouTubes, now is the time. Oh, look, there we are. No, cootie. <laughs> Chip, I told them about how I call you Chip sometimes. Mm, of course you did. And how that's how Baby Chip got its name. <laughs> Of TP. <laughs> Alright, so we went a little OT on the live stream. I was going to stream 8 to 10. I did 8 to 10.30 because I wanted to get done my six drawings. And I did. I got done all six I wanted to do. So I'm pretty happy about that. And so I only have two left to do, which I will do tomorrow night. Not going to stream it, but I'll probably be streaming this coming weekend, like Sunday or something, when I color them all. So... Be on the lookout for that for sure it won't be saturday because i work saturday so most likely on a sunday and i'll try to do it earlier this time it's a tricky situation because of sunday's my only day to do groceries and laundry and that kind of stuff clean the apartment but maybe if i try to get that stuff done on weeknights i don't know i don't know i'll try to do the stream this sunday so more updates will come in the future and i'm just really excited to get this all done so I've got all of these ones, which, here, it's kind of hard to fan them out. Okay, so there, there, that's a better idea of how many there are, and then three more there, so. Progress, just need two more, and then ink, and then color, and then scan, 
then edit. Oh, there's so many steps. And like I was saying to the live stream chat, I was saying how normally I should be scanning these before I ink and color them to just check it to make sure that everything's all right before I color it. But no, I'm, I don't have time for that. I'm just going to go ink and color it. And if something is off, then something is off. Like there's no fixing it because I don't have time for that behind the scenes with Bailey. <laughs> is this what it's like behind the scenes of a vlog? Yes, peeps. It's, I always say it's unglamorous. It's like really awkward and yeah, Chongji Master Race. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, peeps. Hey, you peeps. <laughs> A vlog in the making. The birth of a vlog. Wee! Wee! Okay, <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> yeah. I clearly need to go to bed, so... <laughs> I guess that is it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye! The rest of the vlog will just be chat, so if you don't want to see this, then I guess you should leave the video. <laughs> One more thing that I want to mention is I actually got more viewers than I was expecting because there's 40 people here right now at the end of the stream and I was expecting like maybe 20. I was thinking kind of like 13 to 20 because I wasn't going to announce it on my art channel. But I did mention it in my vlog so I think that's where a lot of people came from. And then also Twitter of course. But yeah, it was a pretty good turnout. So thank you to everyone who stopped by. It was really fun. So... Have good night, everybody. Subscribe to Bailey or else. It's really weird reading the comments through my camera screen. <laughs> May Chongji appear in your dreams. Oh, goodness. I'm always scared to stop recording because I'm like, no, I'll cut someone off right as they're about to post theirs. <laughs> I feel like I just need to record forever. Okay, I'm going to stop recording now. All right. Uh, bye bye. Oh my god, they're having a competition to see who will be the last one to speak in the chat. Like, <laughs> Loudy, loudy. What should I talk about? <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna speak with toothbrush in my mouth. <laughs> what are you brushing your teeth or something, Christine? Dinner, 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 dinner.